Hello, greatness. You are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host. And now, let's welcome Dr. Vincent Alpong. Hello, greatness. How are you doing today? I believe, as always, that you are doing great by the revelations um, of the Christ that is in you. Lesson number 40. Lesson number 40. We got five more lessons to go after this one. And we will be at the very end of this exciting book. Again, after this, we will do another book. And so as you join us by the end of this year, you would have read um, quite a number of books. But the goal is not just to read these books. The goal is the revelation that is hidden in these books and how they have been very impactful in my own life. And I know that it will change your life as well. Because the limitations that you are facing in life is because of a knowledge that is hidden from you. Right? If you know what somebody else know, your life would be just like them. Anyways, let's go on. Lesson 40. The knowledge of God shall cover the earth. The day of the Lord is at hand, and it's here. Truly, the Lord Christ has come in great glory. The signs are in earth and in the sky. So lift up your heads. The King of glory has come in. This is the wonder, the silence of this new birth. What does it mean for you? The consciousness of Christ is dawning in every lowly heart. The supreme man Christ is on the throne and the darkness is under his feet. God tells this blessed secret to the dwellers in the innermost that they may carry the tidings to the very utmost. Mm. The Lord our God is one Lord, even Christ. There is something for you to do in this work. But all good, all knowledge is within oneself. The real need for help is great. We see souls imprisoned in limitations, thirsting for living waters. My people would die for lack of understanding. Because they do not understand that man is divine and God is ever in the midst of man. Every true consciousness is the knowledge that one and one only fills all space. When you silently think of this, you will know that in this understanding, in this continual realization, true freedom is revealed. You will cast off everything alien to this. Nay, you will transmute the very sins and ignorance into the pure gold and wealth of life. These must be the healing of the self by the self, the forgiveness, the whole redemption from your Christ, your indwelling law. You are in all and through all, in every place, Sins hidden within yourself is the center of all worlds. As you write these words, we are near you. And many would like to come back and tell you the glorious news. To open your eyes that you may see in every truth. Mm. There am I in the midst. So far, you have understood clearly the one self of all when you have looked within. 
But now we will try to look out upon seemingly separate personalities and still see the one and only. To recognize the one Lord in all is to lift them into the consciousness of the Christ. And this is just what the spiritual thought, when this is what the spiritual thought are doing. Mm. You must each do your part where you are. Help souls to cast out fear. Fear is one of your foes. In one way or another, you allow this false condition to cloud your vision and drag down your spirit. Get rid of fear for yourself and for others. I cast out fear. For perfect love, cast out fear. There is absolutely nothing to fear in this world. The indwelling Christ is Lord and Supreme. Remind yourself constantly of your true nature. Declare that the light dispels darkness and see this law in action. I no longer but Christ, the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. See what this little enemy of fear has done, a very fox spoiling the vine in your immediate environment the body fear affects its circulation the digestion and gastric juices i only use these words so that we may swiftly ascend to a higher plane fear not there is none other god but me mm. Mm. Get the once read the rays of fear and love, joy, peace would spring up. Now, this must positively be done in each one of you. In fact, the universe has conquered when you have won. Your own Christ has conquered sin and death. Face life and circumstances with the certainty of the I am with you. And in you, only thus will you honor God. He said, face life and circumstances with the certainty of the I am with you and in you. In other words, when you come to that consciousness that I am with you, is with you. I am, is with you. Fear loses its hold. And anything... Any desire that you have, you will go after it and have it, no matter what. The only thing is time. Only that will you honor God. Try from this moment to forget the small you, the false and the shadowy you, and cast it off forever. And go create your own universe. Here I would say that only love is love. You can fill the whole mentality with love thoughts. So making a rich soil for the growth of good, you have nothing to fear. You are in God and God is in you. Cleanse your hearts and not your garment from within must the true forgiveness arise and not from without. Be clean, every wit, whole and perfect. Be positive. Know that you must make your circumstances and not wait for events and then act. You are blind and miserable till your inner eyes are open. The eyes of the understanding be open. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Use these God-given powers for the good of everyone. For there is nothing outside of God. God and man are one. Confidence and trust are the antidotes for anxiety and fear. And perfect love casts away fear. Knowledge of God shall cover the earth. And that was lesson number 40. We are Almost at the end, five more lessons to go, and that will be the end. Thank you so much for.
being a part of this again, please listen to this not once, not twice, but three times, please. Three times. They say three is a, is a charm, right? Listen to it three times and see the blessings that will start to unfold in your life. I'll see you in lesson 41, the will of God. Bye-bye. And this is your brother, Vincent Opon. I'll see you. Have a good one. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.